Chicago Convention. Will as many as of that opinion say aye? aye. Will as many as of the contrary opinion say nay? nay. The eyes, the eyes have it. That you're out of order. I heard you clearly. <laughs> Next order. order. Order number 15, the Statute Law Miscellaneous Amendments Bill, National Assembly Bill number 60 of 2022. Second reading. Majority Leader. Thank you, Honorable Speaker. Honorable Speaker, I beg to move that the Statute Law Miscellaneous Amendments Bill, National Assembly Bill Number 60 of 2022, be now read a second time. Honorable Speaker, the Statute Miscellaneous Amendments Bill of 2022, Honorable Speaker, is, as the title says, a miscellaneous amendment and is customary to, as is customary, Honorable Speaker, this bill seeks to amend various statutes. And Honorable Speaker, it is worth noting that the majority of the amendments in this particular bill, bill number 60 of 2022, seeks to harmonize various acts of parliament with the functions of the office of the DPP under Article 157 of the Constitution which defines the role of the DPP as the person in charge of undertaking all criminal proceedings, prosecution of all criminal proceedings, while the Attorney General has a role to act as the principal legal advisor of government. Honorable Speaker, this bill seeks to amend a number of acts, as I said, beginning with the Penal Code, and Honorable Speaker, members will be able to peruse and see that the Penal Code Cut 63 is being amended by deleting the expression, expressions that are contained in section 146, which in many ways could be perceived to be discriminatory towards persons with mental disabilities. And you know, Honorable Speaker, it is now policy and indeed a constitutional requirement that we mainstream the involvement of all persons, including persons living with disabilities up to and including mental disability. And Honorable Speaker, that is why we must not have anything within our penal code that seeks, seems to be discriminatory against people living with mental disability. And you know, Honorable Speaker, mental disability uh, could be interpreted in different ways, Honorable Speaker, not just the uh, known ways of those people that we see in mental institutions, but there are many people who are with us, living in society, but have certain mental disabilities, Honorable Speaker. <laughs> Honorable Speaker, if you can protect me from the Honorable Kangogo, who is, who is whispering behind me that including Parliament, that those shouting <laughs> might be suffering from one form or the other of a mental disability. Uh, and because Honorable Speaker, I don't want to take that route of Honorable Kangogo, uh, who, who is whispering that the Honorable Masara, <laughs> who just shouted when you <laughs> called the vote on the previous <laughs> statute, <laughs> could be in that category. <laughs> I don't want to get there. <laughs> it's Honorable Kangogo who is whispering. Uh, because we cannot be imputing improper motive on Honorable Masara, even when he opts to use his mouth uh, to express displeasure with the way the vote has gone. As, I'm, as much as I'm sure he does not know what was being voted for, Honorable Speaker. <laughs> Honorable Speaker, the other thing is on the Criminal Procedure Code, Honorable Speaker, where Cap 75, where we are seeking to harmonize terms uh, in that uh, particular provisions, to harmonize them with the provisions of the Constitution and the National Police Service Act of 2011. Additionally, uh, it proposes to amend the act to allow the director of public uh, prosecution to delegate his powers to specified officers to delete and to delete offenses provided for in the Sexual Offenses Act. Honorable Speaker, the other provision uh, is in the Evidence Act, 
CAP 80, which seeks to expand the definition of the term photograph. Honorable Speaker, the Honorable KJ, can, who is uh, uh, very good in some of these issues to do with photography, innovation, image rights, and all that, and uh, the digital economy, will tell you that what uh, is in our evidence act today is very restrictive in terms of definition of what a photograph is that can be adduced in court as evidence. And therefore, we are seeking to expand this to allow even uh, digital photographs in line with current technological advance, advancements, honorable speaker, so that now even a digital photograph can be used in court. But of course, with the necessary safeguards to ensure that uh, those who are very good at photoshopping uh, are not also photoshopping images uh, that can be used in court. Therefore, honorable speaker, uh, the Evidence Act will be 